In the metal squadron, taking a look at the June Gold Futures contract, which closed below $1,850 for the first time since February 11th. Gold is now down three of the last four sessions. It's also currently working on its fourth consecutive down week. But it's interesting to mention that as of today, which is Tuesday, it's having its worst weekly performance so far since the week of March 14th. So unless it recovers, again, it's going to be the worst week we've had going all the way back to the middle of March. On the high side of things today, we were actually up a third of a percent at 1864.70, but it didn't last. It didn't hold. We ended up down at 1838.70, down 107 from yesterday's settlement and finished only a little bit higher than that, right around 1841 or so. The dollar's part of the reason. We've had gold and the de dollar detached from their normally inverse correlation, but the dollar regained strength after the, after the last four, over the last four sessions, I should say, after a little bit of sideways movement, and that er inverse relationship seems to have taken hold. One of the things we always say is that metals and the dollar have an inverse relationship, all else equal. In other words, no other major surprises for the market. It should be inverse. That correlation is not a one correlation, which means 100% of the time. Seems like it's taken back over considering there's no other shocks to the market that went on today. So it's normal market activity driving gold and driving the dollar. You also had volume rising over the previous four sessions. We don't have official volume numbers for today. While open interest has been falling the last three, doesn't necessarily mean anything, could just mean that we're coiling for a potential shock to the system when we get consumer price inflation or CPI tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if that adjusts the market and gold is one of the commodities that it could move uh, in either direction the most, depending on whether we get a number that beats expectations or a number that falls versus expectations.